guys, it's Hannah here from Nurji Bush Goods YouTube channel. Um, I'm starting off where I ended in my last spinning adventure, and um, I'm a bit skeptical uh, skeptical about today uh, producing lots of fish. It's the first real warm day of the spring, but the water clarity is still a bit murky. I haven't got any backup worms on me, so I'm going to try every lure in the book and hopefully get onto a couple. If you like the video, you know what to do. Cheers. I love these type of terrains, these uh, ferns and that, you can always walk through the ferns a lot easier than something like a whole bunch of tea tree or wattle. Yep, this is where I wanted to get to, awesome. I'll uh, go get me ass in the water. Actually clearer than what I thought, I'm trying to get a glimpse on the way down without running off the road <laughs> it's unbelievably clear here just had so much rain like all around the state obviously this area didn't get hit nowhere near as bad but the rivers have just been high for a, about a year and a half or two years even been pretty abnormally high for a while now <sighs> thought it was going to be really deep through there it might still be deep after it. Oh, there we go. Fish just feeding on something then. You guys might have even saw that. Oh, it didn't spin straight away. Not that, that means I've plenty of times in the rivers seen fish jumping and it's not often that you cast over the top of their head and then get one. I'm telling you right now. Plenty. If I can... Unfortunately, <laughs> when you're going on a bit of a roll, you want to keep that roll going. So I could have gone bait fishing again, but decided to uh, give the lure a crack. Can't help it. You know, I get people giving me shit about bait fishing. I'm like, mate, I love lure fishing too. A lot more than bait fishing. What a cast. But yeah, people I think just like to give people shit. One of those ideal little eddy corner holes. Maybe a tap, but it's probably just going over something in there. Oh yeah, got one. Not a bad fish either. Oh, let's get up. Well done, Hanno. Recording? Shit off. Phew! My hands all muddy still. Get this poor thing back in the water, eh? Oh, there he goes. <laughs> there he goes before we can get the film on. Happy days. <laughs> no footage of the fish releasing, but it got released. Just out of that hole over there. Got one, on the second cast again guys. He's off, it was tiny, but on the second cast. There you go, putting that extra cast in. Oh, unbelievable, what a tiny trout. Touch it, I touched it, I touched it. I wet my hands this time, touch it again. Wow, <laughs> now that is a tiny trout. See you, Mr. Trout. Back you go, brother. Yeah, we'll definitely change up. What a beautiful bloody October day. Fantastic. One more change, well, at least one more change. <laughs> As soon as I said I'm going to go make that change, oh, 
this fish I did one more cast off camera I was quick enough to get it on camera as fast as I could I'm sort of stuffing it up here oh well done it's just gonna change lure Whew. sorry guys I do that all the time I don't film constant constantly I've got plenty of batteries in that but it's just easy for me to edit so anyway I just chucked him down there on the left uh, for one more cast before I changed lure and yeah he smashed it thank you very much beautiful brown trout biggest of the day yeah it's probably like I don't know 26 centimeters beautiful little brown bloody beautiful I'm just gonna uh, get a photo on that and get back to you guys putting him back Let's spear him in, eh? Oh, beautiful little dive in. Awesome, guys. Fish number three just about to change, so I'm going to keep that lure on, I tell you right now. Um, it looks like you just got to keep on putting casts in, lots of casts. It's that time of the year, early spring. So it's uh, mid October now. I think it's like that. 19th today. Uh, it's a Wednesday. Anyway, number three, I'm pumped. Look at this, mate. You don't get many spots like this on the river where you can just sit down for a bit. I'll just do that. Just sit down and relax. Pretty much where I pulled him from. And he was sitting down there. Nice. There's this little head in the, mod in the middle here. Pull over here and just... Oh! Yep, got one. Oh, am I recording? Yeah, I am recording. Number four. Wow. I was about to say, yeah, you'd definitely uh, fish that eddy, wouldn't you? Put your swag here and bait fish there all night. Sweat my hand, guys, but before we push record, I promise, we'll just spear him in there. Oh, off he goes. See ya, buddy. Oh. Fish number four, I'm muddy, I'm a bit wet in both feet, but I'm happy. Awesome. Oh yeah, oh, oh yeah, got him. Oh, I have to just pull him up. Oh yep, yeah, got him. Wow. I've got enough photos for Facebook, I reckon, so let's get him back in the water. Oh, with some minor surgery. I just uh, unpopped him. What a beautiful trout, eh? Just sensational colours on him around our area in New G. Let's get him back. snag to you guys I just saw this fish that I saw before just creep up and go underneath the log I could just see it it's just facing upstream on the other side now oh that net yeah, there it is there it is can you see it I'll show you where it just went just under there there it is He's right in front of me. I'm hoping he hasn't seen me. What do you think? So my tree there he is. He goes back up now. Now, this is my chance to get out without spooking him. Believe it or not, I'm going to try and get out here. Whew. Maybe. No. <laughs> Definitely not natural enough for him. Hey guys, it's Hannah here back at Nergy Bush Goods. Hope you're enjoying the video. Just going to go through a few of the lures that I'm using in the video today. Um, I started off with a little J5 jointed 
Rapala. That's the brown trout, trout version, but um, I was actually using the rainbow there. Uh, didn't have a rainbow to display there, guys. Um, we also were using this uh, Blue Fox uh, Vibrax. Um, it is dynamite on its day. On this particular day, it wasn't. We end up going to a Saja in this colour, but in the size two. Uh, I wouldn't say we cleaned up, but we got five fish while the fish were biting. Basically, uh, it was probably for about an hour and a half. They really uh, went quite hard. And then after that, they just disappeared. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this part of the video. And if you need anything from us, you know where to find us. New G Bush Goods. We got the goods you need in the bush. Cheers. How's it going, guys? It's Hanno Parker here. You've been watching another episode from Nuji Bush Goods YouTube channel. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Just ended up with the five trout. Um, hard as usual um, in spring, but yeah, had an absolute blast. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. I'm Hanno Parker. Cheers.